So we have plus one to nature here. Um, that's nothing. Well, it is something that adds damage to pets. Damage to pets. Plus one to warfare. Very low level. You could probably have a lot better than this. Um, low level, you could probably have better. Uh, this is pretty much must have till about level 65. Um, just damage. These are all easily obtainable. <clears throat> this is the only thing you might have a little problem farming, but it's still got a decent. I mean, I got two of them, so it's still got a decent drop chance. Um, just don't even need this, but it's good. Uh, plus one to nature, so. Oh man, I always do that. So you got plus one to all here. Here you just want one, 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 one. Max, max, one, one. Um, I did. This this is after level forty, so you wouldn't worry about this. You'd put one here. Nothing here yet. That, that's very end game. When you dual wield, that's yeah. Worry about that towards the end game. Uh, max plus five if you're level forty. Uh, one max if you're level forty. Uh, max if you're forty. One one. Um, whatever is left if you're level forty. One one. Uh, nothing, nothing, and nothing in these three. And then that's that's that. It's pretty simple. Um, oh yeah, wait, you gotta put one into the ancestral warhorn. One here too. You need you need that. That's for your all your boss encounters. Why am I walking so slow? What's going on here? I'm guessing my pets aren't on aggressive anymore, huh? Oh, they are. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, boy. This controller has the drifting stick. Lovely. stupid sphinx at and I guess I'll do this there's a good experience in here it's worth it Should have bannered there, but wanted to show you that really only need Warhorn for most 99, 90% of the encounters. That's normal trash mobs. Like even most hero monsters, Warhorn will suffice.
could have swore there was like a boss here, isn't there? Am I tripping or am I tripping? Hmm. Maybe it's on this side? I know there's one in the middle, but there's always like a little side one. I'm saying those guys are supposed to be tough. At this point in time, they're supposed to be tough. For some people, not everyone. I shouldn't always say that. Some people, not people, builds. Let's say that. That's usually in the middle of the staff. So, where am I tripping? still had that ability. Get out of there, dogs. You're gonna die. That was a glitch. That was in my old weapon wheel. that stone form that was interesting or maybe he petrified me I don't remember if that's what pet if petrify looks just like stone form that's kind of dumb but whatever I'm not gonna say here nitpick like 15 year old game Sphinx is right in front of me. <laughs> I miss it so often because it's, it's so small. So small.
Ooh. Why can't I cast anything? What's going on here? See what I'm saying? Bugs and glitches. Bugs and glitches. do full clears. Usually it's not always the case. I was speaking about this last night on stream that uh, all the pets scale up in each difficulty so they get a lot stronger than what they were in the previous difficulty. <coughs> So you would think, like, for instance, like, how it would normally work in most games, like, so you get your pet, and it, you have, like, your normal difficulty pet, and then you go into, like, the next difficulty, right? You would expect it to be, like, twice as good as the normal, right? Which usually, for most games, is pretty crap to begin with. <coughs> But no, this one scales up even higher, so it's like, it's double that, plus some, um, you know what I mean? It's pretty cool, for pet builds anyways. So we just melt everything. And you guys say melt everything. something over there that says wardens on it again let's hope it's not the shield that I already have
<sighs> Worse, it's the boots. Something I probably am not gonna need. Might add plus two with all nature. This only adds plus two to heart of the oak. So yeah, kind of poopy. Kind of poopy. But I'll hold on to it, I suppose. Let's see what the bonus is, though. Right? Might as well. Pierce, bleed, elemental, 2% chance to dodge, right? Okay. I mean, so that makes me a little bit tankier. I don't need that. I need more damage. Sorry. So I'm going for damage and damage. How does this give me damage? Well. Oh man, I keep doing that. Um, plus everything to this. So we yeah, get plus one to that, plus one to this, plus one to that, plus one to this, plus one to that, plus one to this. So that overall is a whole lot more damage than say for instance adding plus two to this then taking those two skill points and reallocating them to anything here so or anything here it's literally it's not that's a huge damage reduction for some uh, like I, I, it just makes me tankier basically that's what I'm getting at that's all it does I don't need that. Don't need it. My philosophy is if I face roll everything, I don't need defense. Nice, two attribute points. I know where they're going. I'm almost at 450 strength. 450 strength is the highest strength you need for this build. So, basically I'm all decks from now until about level 65 so I mean yeah I do have items added plus the strength oh, it's not showing it now because I don't have any extra points but you get what I mean I do have items that add plus the strength so I wonder, oh boy, I keep doing that. I wonder if there's any more quests that give skill points or stats here. I think there's one. Um, oh, that was in the previous difficulty. I hadn't done it yet. That's cool. I'll go back and do it. Um, basically... Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to give me six points in strength, correct? Then I believe you get another set amount here. And then I'll get another set amount of strength in um, legendary. So basically I'm done with strength. Get what I mean? So. Poseidon's net. I hear that's pretty good. Oh, wow. That is pretty good. That'd be really good for, uh, like a storm build. <clears throat> Let me open this up. 
see what we get. Uh, okay. to fight. I can just let my pets do all the work. Look how much damage they're doing. And I'm not even like throwing out a horn or nothing. Look at that. Throw out a horn and they're vaporizing. They're hitting as much damage as I am. So like 2,000 damage per second. So that's kind of what I was getting at where I'm not too worried about um, the defense from my shield too much. As long as I have a really good offense and I'm able to vapor, like face roll enemies before they can even look in my direction, then there's no point. You know what I mean? Like what, what do I need defense for? Let's see how well this this does here. We'll just horn. Look at that. Just use the horn and we're, we're rolling through these guys. That usually... They're usually quite annoying. Even for my warden, that does like... Oh boy. 